So I'm going to try and show you my thought processes here. So what I do, so if you have a bit of a read of the paper and everything first, um, but I open up the paper, get highlighter pen. Um, what I do is literally go through, as you're seeing now, and, and scribble down the, the details. So this is Dorenzo 2014. Um, I've got the genetic information they're interested in here. So in the methods, um, they're measuring for 12 weeks. They start off with 50 participants but then the actual ultimate group was 44 obese women so you can see I'm just scribbling that down under my population group here um, so they're taking a baseline and it's a 12 week study um, sorry this isn't coinciding terribly well um, but I'm just highlighting there they actually identify two genotype groups um, and they do loads of biochemical measures. So uh, there we are. Um, they put their patients on a diet, um, which they describe in the paper for 12 weeks. Um, so this is me just noting that they actually what they do then is by genotyping, they identify two patient groups within there, the carriers of one of the, the critical genes, MTHFR, and the non-carriers. And it, I think it's believed that those with the carrier are more responsive to dietary modification. Um, so they split into those two groups and they do various biochemical marker tests. Um, so that's a, a good genetic intervention study. So example of the second paper. So again, I'm just scribbling down the population. So in this one, it's part of that big trial. There's 443 metabolic, met, metabolic syndrome patients. Uh, I've just jotted down the gene there that they're interested in. It's related to MTHFR, um, and it's, it's a gene involved in glucose metabolism. So again, they're genotyping normal patients, CC, um, those with the CT genotype and those with the TT who are be, going to be the potentially responsive ones. So it's a similar principle to above. Then they subdivide again into patients with high lipids in the blood and low lipids in the blood. So thinking about that, then there, there's a combination of six groups in total for that study. It's a big study. Um, they're measuring markers there. But actually what I put on the question mark is it's not an intervention study. It's a cohort study and they're looking at the various principles so actually I've excluded that one but the final study I hope this is helpful to you again the population it's a subset of that big lipogenetic trial so they've got 75 metabolic syndrome patients they're randomizing them into four dietary groups so there's an intervention you've got that 12 week time frame again and at the end they're measuring various biomarkers and two genes so that's a good example.